Wendy Fletcher is the President and Vice Chancellor of the Renison University College. She is a specialist that focuses on the intersection of culture and Christianity. She has been nominated as the artist for 2016 at the 11th Global Confucius Institute Conference and her paintings are known for representing the core principles of Confucianism. As her website indicates, Wendy creates paintings which use bold color and form to communicate meanings with acrylics, oil, and multimedia. Now let's take a look at some of Wendy's artwork. By looking at this painting, I can immediately see the lotus flowers, which in Chinese culture represent the highest beauty, elegance, and pureness of the body and soul. The lotus flowers float on the surface of the water, giving me the sensation of stability and balance. The main colors used in this painting are soft tones, which include pink, white, blue, and green. Pink can symbolize unconditional love and care, while white represents purity, goodness, and innocence. Fletcher partially painted the surrounding areas with a blue color, which for me represents cleanliness, peace, and serenity, while the green vines symbolize life, harmony, and energy. Her use of soft-toned colors on the painting gives the feeling of relaxation and calmness. Also, at the top right of the picture is an ancient Chinese symbol that connects the painting to Chinese culture. All these elements together serve a clear purpose in this painting. Using Wendy Fletcher's abundant use of floating lotus flowers gives me a message of virtue, beauty, and peace. In this painting, the dimension of the drawing is equal on each side forming a square that depicts balance in the artwork. In the middle, there is a bold interruption of a black line to separate the center with a touch of light pink cherry blossom growing from it. Surrounding the bright flower, there is a dark purple border at the base, providing structural support. At each corner, a single cherry blossom is reaching out to the center with a smooth, river-like wave in gold. Lastly, the background is painted in dark pink to give a solid foundation that contrasts with the light pink flowers and black bold lines surrounded by a dark purple squared border. As I gaze upon this next painting, the first thing that catches my attention is the vibrant and harmonious colors used in the canvas. My focus then falls towards the object placed right in the center of the painting, the fan. In Chinese culture, round fans symbolize union or reunion and are often inscribed with romantic poems, characters, or floral designs which represent wealth and longevity. The fan is also painted in white, which is a color that symbolizes purity, goodness, and peace. After realizing the significance of the fan, my imagination then settles on what the vivid colors in this painting could represent. The purple and dark blue seem to represent chaos and a constant struggle to strive towards unity and love, while the deep pink shade in this painting can symbolize that through love, kindness, and generosity, unity and harmony can be achieved. As I look deeper into the painting, I realize the white, elegant doves on the left side flying towards the fan, or rather towards unity, love, and goodness to find wealth and longevity. Looking at this last painting, the splash of bright blue across the canvas along with the vibrant smudges of white, orange, and black show me the image of koi fish swimming in a raging river. It is made clear through the strokes of blue that go in a consistent direction that the river flows heavily downwards, brushing against the gold smudges that I perceived as rocks. The koi fish's powerful and energetic life force fight against the current. I hear the splashes of the koi swimming on top of one another along with the water hitting the rocks. There is a force that exists between the river and the koi fish as well as between the river and the rocky terrain. A story of courage and perseverance is displayed through the koi fish's abilities to swim up the terrain and against the force of nature. In Chinese tradition, courage and perseverance are two of the biggest traits that are connected to the koi fish. Moreover, the dark hues that surround the river portray struggle, in contrast to the bright koi fish that are full of life, energy, and determination as they swim against the current. After conducting an interview with Wendy Fletcher herself, our group came to the realization that people interpret things differently. 
As a group, we were able to detect this by writing our descriptive pieces of each painting before conducting the interview with Wendy. Although our interpretations of the paintings did not completely overlap with Fletcher's, it was interesting to see the similarities as well as the differences between the interpretations. Fletcher labels the first painting Generosity. She paints this piece to illustrate two different ideas. First, she uses a broader western brush technique to bring out the western influence in this painting, and then she uses a classic Chinese image of lotus blossoms floating on the surface of a pond to symbolize the eastern influence. According to her, the use of the abundance of lotus blossoms represent an unlimited and beautiful virtue and generosity pouring out. In the second painting, Fletcher intends to symbolize virtue using a square canvas to depict the sense of balance and equality. Fletcher uses pink, a representation of joy, as the primary color and believes that joy is the underlying fruit of virtue. Furthermore, she uses the color of white blossoms to represent the value of goodness and bold lines to depict the beliefs of virtue being rooted in our choices. Fletcher labels the next painting, Love. She uses pink to represent joy and white to present virtue. With the idea of Western net modern expressionism, she uses color as the primary vehicle to communicate the meaning of the painting to her audience. She also uses the fan to represent the classic Chinese shape of a heart to symbolize love. Finally, according to Fletcher, the last painting represents justice. She paints this piece using the Christian tradition where justice is depicted as a waterfall, an ever-flowing stream that cascades over the rocky edges of human experience. Similarly, our group interpreted the painting to have a rocky terrain as well as a body of water. However, we also interpreted there being koi fish and a story of courage and perseverance. That concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening.